then explain it. It's is what it is. You fucking have these things where you program yourself to do these things constantly in the same pattern, and you literally are polluted by your own fucking what you put yourself Phantom in a constant vibration syndrome. Yeah, and this is something that just came out because of the, it's because you get a phone and you have you have your phone anxiety. Exactly, yeah, of course. Hypo vibrochondria. <laughs> These people couldn't. Faux cell arm. Faux alarm. Yeah. That is hilarious. Yeah. Faux alarm is the best name for a fake disease ever. Faux alarm and false alarm, however you want to look at it. True. You want to look at it as. This, you know what they're saying? They're saying phantom limb when someone loses their arm. That's all they're, do that's all they're doing. It's because we're androids now. Because of our devices, because of what we have our bodies but, but tethered the, to. But the thing is, exactly, we're tethered to it. And when people don't realize is you, you, you build up a fucking understanding and a tolerance for these things. And, and, and now if you don't have your phone and you, you're using, a, let's say that you use a lot of uh, things having to do with the phone and having to do with, like, in your life as far as, like, your music is on there, your, new, your news is on there that you want to get from your Gmail, your everything is on that phone. Uh... And you're constantly being given these patterns. These things, they say radio waves never die. And they say this, this is another version of more tangible radio waves. These are the kind of waves that are going to allow us to have holographic fucking projections in our phones. That's the point. The, the other thing is up there, you can't only hear it. But it lives forever. What about the other stuff that's down here that turns into that? That lives forever too. And that's my point. And it's like, I don't even give a fuck, man. Like, people to me, they're all on their own, you know? I already know what I need to do, and everyone is fucking, they're on their own ski. Because it's like, I look into this whole fucking, the view of this thing, and all I see is what we always talk about, whether it's the trickster, or it's Nero, and the concept behind uh, the burning of Rome. It, it's just these spoiled, fat, uh, irresponsible, mindless creatures. Miyazaki and type of like, perpetuating and kind of growing exponentially at their, at their lack of care to even take responsibility for who they are as people. Like, and that's what I feel this is like turned into this gigantic jester's joke, this gigantic doom ball that we are creating. We, we're rolling that fucking snowball oh, up yeah, the dude. largest hill because we just want to get to the top, but we don't realize that we better have enough fucking people to hold that snowball together rolling upward, you know? And that sounds crazy. It's, people like to say it goes downhill. I'm trying to put a Sisyphus turn on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to put... We're all the fucking people holding up that boulder, pushing it up that fucking hill, hoping that it exists, hoping that, that it doesn't come over the house of cards and fucking destroy us all. That's why this, you know, you put all your eggs in one basket computer-wise, and you're going to... You, you have to slow down, you know? Everyone has to realize, okay... These things, phantom things, all these things, everything is going to computers. Everything's going to be going to the apps uh, and all these, and this, all their kind of technology in, in conjunction. This uh, Bitcoin is going to be a, a, a very positive thing for the computer people, but the artists in general, because eventually, someone who's an artist, when I work with who I want to work with, I'm going to say, listen, I need to work with people who can harvest bitcoins. Maybe I'll just kickstart my idea, like you said, uh, kickstart the idea. This is how we harvest them in this way, but it, it is per, pertains to your sense of who you are, uh, of your own community around who you are. So it's like helping a brother out or helping another out or helping a neighbor out or helping someone out instead of, uh, you know, helping someone chop wood and get it ready to make a fire because, you know, the, the hunters are coming back. Just to put it into those terms, you know what I'm saying, Tony? It's a community. Oh, yeah. So when you connect that to the same value and the same worth as a Bitcoin... You start to get into that artist money thing we talked about, which it could be. You can you can tangible you can make tangible. Um, I guess you can make t tangible of the intangible. I'm saying, like, it, what if you connect a Bitcoin now to also like a different kind of money, which is your or art thing that you made, and it's no longer a dollar, but it represents that. You know what I'm saying? You could fun you could do it in that very way. Just buy Bitcoin. You know what I'm saying? And then you let it. I guess you have it there to harvest it your own. Uh, and that tangible thing, I mean, that could be the gold, that could be the silver card that I had in that crazy out-of-body experience. I saw, um, I saw two artists, I won't say the names of the artists, but I saw two artists work together before they worked together at a level 
that I was connected to where, like, what you were talking about, the Inquirer, uh, you know, lizard man talking to P. Diddy through an old woman in a grocery store, like, but I won't disclose, um, I guess I won't, I want to keep that private, what I saw, but then this has conjunction with it in some weird way. But I would never really say those things. I mean, it's, to me, it's incriminating because then people, people just follow what they feel they think is sanity. And then they go a little bit outside the box because it's their favorite band or their favorite TV show likes it. That's, that's, that's all I can give to them at this point. Uh, artists have their own identities and they're always fighting each other. So the popularity contest continues within the inner circle of the artists and the local musicians and all the... Because everyone, ego-wise, are trying to kill... Like, they, they're trying to battle each other. And it goes back to, I want to fuck this one and this one wants to fuck me and we want to meet these people so we can fuck them. That's all people care about when... when they, and I mean, that's, that's what it is. It's what it is. People are distracted. People are fucking lost. And... I'm reading about the study that they did on phantom vibrations. Yeah, read about the study of what fucking... What um, the so, dopamine response with your yeah. IMs? What is that? What is that? And that we're supposed to just fucking look at that and say, "Well, we know about this." And there's no research like that. The only research is just some asshole videotaping his friend in fucking Florida talking about it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, it's not cool. But if if I had like a cool hat on and maybe like had some really great music that I didn't write and like really really high powered video cameras filming me saying it. And I'm like, wow, this is interesting. My, my, my filters have been penetrated because I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking blowjob. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what the fuck are these people thinking? It, it's ridiculous, man. I hate, I, this is why I never, and this is why I never fucking wait to wrap my gifts on Christmas. I just fucking open them up the night before. And I get it. We've been fucking spoiled. And my projection, I'm projecting that image, but there's, there's a level of truth to it. There's a level of truth to it. In a world where, in a world where now all of a sudden these guys like, oh, you're, do you're I just saw some guy shoot a guy's dog in a video, and then I sh saw a video of a guy coming home. I'll show you on um, fucking on um, facade book or whatever, or uh, or propaganda um, pages, propaganda pages. Page they'll make another thing, propaganda pages. But no, no, look at it. This guy's totally right. You you're looking for a lost child. But the dog is barking at you and you're a cop and it's going to try to bite you. Leave the building. Leave, leave the area that you're not supposed to be in, really. Like, yeah, you have a warrant or you're, because you're the police and you can go in there. But don't shoot the guy's dog. Like, that's like shooting someone's son. Like, people need to pass a law. If you take serious what the dog really means to you and you're not just some fucking rich idiot who's like, I don't, I just do, I love my dog as much as my children. No, you don't even love anyone. You don't love yourself and you're lying. A CEO, so, a CEO cynical just got fired. Because he was don't caught on camera dogs? kicking a puppy in the elevator. A CEO of his own company was fired, dude, for kicking a so puppy. So, police officers should at least... And be, should not be allowed to fucking kill dogs. Shoot a, yeah, you just shoot a with dog. No punishment, yeah. And, 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 not dude, like, police are shooting people and getting I, away with I don't, no punishment. I'm not trying to look at it that way. I'm not trying to be political. That, that, I saw that video. I don't know. My, my take on that video was different. If you well, have a knife... Just one example. Though. If you have a knife... And somebody's right here, and this guy has a knife, and then he moves it to, I'm going to stab you thing. That's why they shot him 11,000 times, and then fucking put him in jail, and he was dead already. Like, that's crazy. I get it. Like, it's, like some, it's, it's kind of chaotic. But, um, yeah, but that's the same thing. Though. But, I mean, you like, put yourself in a position. You're, kill, you're killing mentally put, ill people, put, No, but look, put yourself in a position. Like they're killing mentally ill people, bro. It's like. That guy? That you, guy? You, you could have electrocuted that guy. What was that guy? You could have right. electrocuted that guy. But maybe, dude. maybe, maybe they were wondering that they didn't want to turn him into a cure. You electrocute him and yeah, then you power him, you know? Like, himself, who yeah. knows? No, but I'm saying, like, that might be his way of saying, you know what? Cops are going to shoot me because I'm going to give them no choice because I'm committing suicide because I hate my life and this is the end. I'm on, you know, crystal meth mixed with basalt mixed with. Or just, I'm tired of my life because this planet is a farce. And he's like, maybe this cop, if you could do me any good, he'll, it's yeah. bartering for sure. It's just, it's, but it's a level of bartering that our people at this point, if we're supposed to be some sort of contending civilization, maybe we shouldn't be treating our people this way and just reckless abandonment and just fucking murdering animals. It's just, it's people have their fucking heads screwed on backwards and they think the priorities need to be adjusted.
So priorities, just Facebook is the most important thing. What are, what are the things we learned today? Facebook's the most important thing. Uh, start watching TV again. Buy Bitcoins if you have the money. Yeah, I guess if you're artsy fartsy, Dude. but join, uh, burn all your machines and burn all your papers and get rid of everything you've ever written personally and join and become a businessman and learn about how the business world works and, uh, you know, take things up uh, one rung at a time, even if that rung is your fucking best friend's head or your best friend's girlfriend's head because so now she gets you coffee. Um, so that's still cool. But uh, yeah, so just don't be an artist anymore. Become a really, 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 really powerful businessman. Well, well, I think... I think uh Business in the arts. And when you get to that point of getting involved in business, you should you should give blowjobs out so, instead certain, of uh, certain artists. Though, they, instead they of they advice, make their business by just doing what they do, anyways. I'm just saying that this this you got Facebook, you got Space MySpace, you got all these other things, and people don't realize that everything needs to just go back to the. Tabletop computer. You need to put. Your, you need to get cool phones. But maybe you can project each other and you can see each other now instead of I am's. Now it's just like I can see the person or whatever. So you fucking your little retard fucking distractory mind is, is is satisfied. You satiated fucking gluttonous fat tick pig that needs all this attention. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to make it worse. Some app I'm making is like when not you know joining Rome. Why not uh, get involved with? Uh, Contributing to it in some way because eventually it needs to become the fucking everything has to be uh, the pet rock and you know what I mean and be as reliable as sliced bread. If there is only abundance and there's only possibilities, then every information and idea that can be used and harnessed could be used for good and used to um, help the people move forward. But killing dogs and uh, shooting people like that, I mean. It's really hard to call because then you see somebody, if I had a knife and I was standing and you had a gun, it only takes about like no seconds for this to happen, for me to stab you. And I don't think the cop wanted it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to get stabbed. You know, it, it's like you may be told in the job, nobody wants to get hurt. But they, they, they shot him a lot. It was kind of like, sounded like fucking uh, the Civil War, like, like, like when all the guns go off at once and they shoot at that line that, you know, is ready to take the fall. Um... Who knows? I think was, I personally, when I saw the video, I was a little upset. But regardless, I just thought it was a suicide. I thought he decided he was done. And uh, is that the big case that everyone's talking about too? No, uh, was, no. That was an aftermath case. See, it's very, it's, 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 it's crazy. The world is just in a, such a. It seems like it's it happens because of the internet. That's why <laughs> I think people need to like really think about how they're projecting and what they're projecting. And I think that being conspirative-ish is fun because it, it... Well, it's also just honest. Yeah. It's been going on, <coughs> it's honest. Going on forever. It's very how honest. Do they, how do they kill Caesar, man? I don't know. Because <laughs> <all I know, laughs> they got together and they're like, yo, let's kill Caesar. Yeah, of course. You know, know, it, was like, it, was like a, it was a business yeah. decision, dude. Oh, well, one thing we got to do is... And and I, and the thing about, I mean, I consider Nero like a fool, but that's just me. Oh yeah, Nero was a fool, yeah. but that wasn't Caesar. No, I know, but I'm saying I'm thinking of all of those things. Like what what comes? You see what comes first? First, it's the jesters and and the, and the jokers telling their kings do this, don't do this, do, and they're, they're developing their own under you know society government, this underworld government. They already you know every every jester uh, isn't connected to each other. We should make a movie about that. All of the, all the, all the fools connected to all the kingdoms. That's part of Sons of the Time Machine. I mean, it could be. It entirely it could be. It, like it, it would be. I mean, ever since you and I met, we we get them all with ideas. Uh, like I wanted to make Alienware with Pizza Parlor, which I put on one of our things on show. But um, it, one of the Alienware with Pizza Parlor, and you had your idea with the like, that was similar, and then we were at similarities. But yeah, I, I think that Sons of the Time Machine would definitely show that, would definitely touch on that realm because it's a sick, fucking crazy way of, of birthing the events uh, as far as everything that's taking place from, from, from now, um, from now past that point when you realize that and like to see that it started that long ago and it even started even longer ago than even that in another way. And they would almost say that that would be the cave. That's why open sesame opens the cave. There's a secret word to open the cave to get back in, not to leave. 
that's what I feel it is. If you can leave the if you can if you can leave the cave, you know. I don't know. I mean, that's.